Hey, look, man. Y'all already know what's going on. We in the building, man. As soon as y'all get in here, smash the like button, say what number y'all is. Drop location so we can shout out to where everybody from. Y'all see the title, y'all see the thumbnail. We got two topics today. The first topic we is talking about D thing, D thing, wife, and mother duke, man. We talking about D thing, D thing, wife, and mother duke. The second topic. The second topic is, God damn it, uh, Polo G, Polo G mama, Polo G uh, sister. Yeah, Polo G. So Polo G, Polo G mama, Polo G sister, and Polo G brother. You know, y'all already knew. As soon as y'all get in here, smash the like button, say what number y'all is, drop location so we can shout out to where everybody from. We finna talk our shit, man. Everybody get in the building, man. Get in the building, man. We in here, man. Go on. We finna talk our shit, bro. Soon as y'all get in here, smash the like button, run this shit up, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm finna go crazy on my son. I'm about to go crazy because I ain't gonna lie. I just I just made a video about D thing, baby mama. You know, and I, and I went crazy. So y'all be on the lookout for that shit. Like when I drop that shit, y'all ass gonna be like, damn, dude, you going crazy. I had to, bro, because I damn that was, you know. I've been giving her a pass for like a long ass time. I ain't never really said nothing to her ass, but it's like, you know, I kind of just went off on the ass real fast. So it's like shit. But uh y'all be on the lookout for that. And then we're gonna talk about Polo G Mom. So now nah, let's just get let's jump right into it. So look, y'all make sure y'all check out that uh get back gang, that untold story of get back gang on, on CSP too. Just drop that shit, my son, you know. And CSP so I will be dropping shorts. You know, y'all, anybody who tapped in to me, y'all know I don't be dropping no shorts. So I just created a channel called CSP Shorts, and I'm finna start dropping shorts. But no. So D thing, baby mama, fat fat. For the people who don't know, that's the girl that Lil Dirk was talking about in Pelly Pellico. What Dirk say in Pellico, he say, I call Fat Fat talk to the kids. I don't think son son know that he did. So look, Lil Dirk say in Pellico that he called Fat Fat. To talk to D Thang kids. And he's saying he think he don't think that D Thang kids even know that D Thang did. So it's like, you know, the D Thang wife and the D Thang baby mama. So after D Thang died, Fat Fat went and got pregnant by Mother Duke, man. She went and got pregnant by Mother Duke. And it's like, you know, at the end of the day, Fat Fat, she could do whatever she wants. But let me just say this, bro. I respect Ari. G Herbo, baby mama, I respect, you know what I'm saying, her ass, you know what I'm saying, so look, her, her baby mama, Ari, Young Miami, Glorilla, Sexy Red, them is the females that, you know, the, the, uh, the people like to say, like, all right, them females I just named, them the type of females who misleading the new generation that's coming up, but I ain't even gonna front my shit. I respect Ari more than I respect Fat Fat because when Ari broke up with her, she went, she ain't gonna get pregnant by Cairo. She ain't gonna get pregnant by Lil Wet. She ain't gonna get pregnant by Maniski. She ain't gonna get pregnant by Doo Wop. Her ass went all the way to Memphis and found Moneybag Yo and got pregnant by Moneybag on my son. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like shorty ass. Fat fat, she kinda she like she she ain't gonna lie. That was some bop ass shit that she did, fool. That was some bop shit. She could do whatever she wants, but I can say whatever I want to say. It's her life. She can live her life the way she wants, but I ain't gonna lie. I feel like her ass a bop. I ain't gonna front my shit. I even respect King Von, baby mama, more than I respect fat fat, cause whole time, you know. I ain't gonna lie, King Von, baby mama, she wanna be a OTL bop. She she wanna be a OTL bop, but she just she just the right person ain't hit her up. She mad because one of the goofies from King Von Circle tried to hit her up. And she like, hell no, nah, your ass a goofy. I'm finna expose your ass. But let little Dirk ass with a another look, let King, let let the right homie of let the right one of uh King Von homies would have hit Von baby mama up. She was gonna go. And when I say the right homie, I'm talking about little Dirk. You talking about man, y'all supposed to be little Dirk, y'all supposed to be King Von homies whole time. Y'all trying to send me kissy faces. 
Y'all ain't trying to see how the kid's doing. Y'all trying to get up with his baby mama. Y'all some y'all ain't wasn't really his friends and all this shit. Whole time, man. You really your ass want to be an OTF bop too. She want to be an OTF bop, but just the right homie ain't hit her up yet. If Dirk would have hit her up, she would have went for it. But I ain't even gonna lie, like shit. The shit that so I can't really call mom baby mama a, a OTF bop yet because I ain't gonna lie. If Lil Dirk smash King Von Baby Mama, <laughs> Von Baby Mama is an OTL bop. But look, D thing Baby Mama Fat Fat, she bopped out for getting pregnant by Mona Duke, man. Like, yo ass is a bop. Yo ass is an OTL bop. Like, yo ass, like, you ain't have to, like, yo ass waited till D thing died. But now, hold on. Let me, let me say what I said in the video. So look. Y'all got to pay attention. Do y'all think Mona do really love Fat Fat? Or do y'all think that man is seeing dollar sign? Because you know Fat Fat, she still got all D-Thing money. She, like, look, and Fat Fat still got all D-Thing money. Fat Fat got a bag. I don't care what nobody say. D-Thing gone, and he left all the money to his kids and Fat Fat. So all that money that D-Thing had is like, God damn it, Fat Fat got that shit now. So I was saying this in my video. Man, look, even though I think that fat, fat a bop, I damn near tear my hat off the Money Duke because Money Duke ass hit the jackpot. I ain't going to front my shit. Money Duke hit the jackpot. Fat, fat got D-Thing money on my son. And if fat, fat run that D-Thing money, she can get some of Lil Dirk money. You know why? Because fat, fat kids is Lil Dirk nephew and Lil Dirk Lisa. So, you know, I know y'all like, damn, Ronnie, you being biased. How you gonna tip your hat off the money dude, but you going talking shit about fat fat? Cuz, man, it's like, you know, your ass bogus. You Your ass a bop. I ain't gonna say you bogus, but you a bop. I'm sorry. You a bop with my son. Like, you was, you was, you was getting, you, you getting bopped out by OTF. With my son, you getting bopped out by OTF. You a D-Thing wife at first, a OTF member, had D-Thing kids. And then when, when D-Thang died, you went to another OTF member and had some of his kids. You an OTF bop. Like, you having kids by multiple OTF members. D-Thang got an OTF chain on. Mona Do got an OTF chain on. Whole time, D-Thang picked up the phone for the, uh, when TZ called and got off the phone with TZ and called Muwap. Like, all right, I need, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need to get downtown and go kill Duck and shit like that. So it's like shit. This is all the same circle. It's all the same circle. And it's like, fat, fat, she could do whatever she wants. You know what I'm saying? She entitled to live her life, but I'm entitled to say, uh, to speak my truth. I'm entitled to talk my shit. Like, shit, whole time, like, you bopped out. It is what it is, you know? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, we just got to call a space. We got to call a spade a spade, and, uh, and we got to stop looking at it as he's talking shit. I'm not talking shit. I'm just saying what it is. Is she not a bop? Is is she a bop? Which one is she? Like shit. Do do getting do having do having a baby by two. <laughs> you had a baby by this OTF member. This nigga died. Then you had a baby by this OTF member. I'm what am I missing here? That's bop activity on my son, you know. And it's like this really just me calling a spade a spade. This is not me down that fat fat. This is not me looking down on fat fat. This is not me woofing that fat fat. It's like fat fat knows she a bop. Fat fat knows she did. Oh, my son, you'll probably go look at some of the posts on fat fat page and you probably seeing she turned the comments off because she know. She know she, man, fat fat know what she did. She know she did some bop ass shit. That's why she, when she be making these Instagram posts or making these Facebook posts, she a disabled comments because she don't want to be everybody, <laughs> my son. She don't, you know what I'm saying? She don't want everybody to get on the ass. Like, damn, that's some bop ass shit. That's D thing, homie. That's uh, on my, that's uh, that's one of D thing workers. Yo ass, you know, but yeah, man, you know what it is, what it is. You know, shout out to uh, Mana Duke. But now, on some real shit, though. So now that I let it be known, like, how I feel like uh, Fat Fat, she bopped out for the shit that she did. I want to speak on Mother Duke real fast. I'm not mad at Mother Duke. If you ask me, Mother Duke ass hit the jackpot. Mother Duke hit the jackpot because Fat Fat got all D thing money and she could have Lil Dirk money if she wanted to. If Fat Fat run out of D thing money, all she got to do is put in the car to Lil Dirk and be like, look, I ain't got no money for the kids. I ain't got no money for your niece and nephews. 
Can you send me a hundred thousand real fast? Boom. Whole time people wondering, like, damn, how move up, how did Mana Duke get move up a lawyer? At the end of the day, man, you know, we thought that little dirt paid for move up lawyer, but whole time the you know, some shit happened where move up had to get another lawyer and the person that put up the money for Muwap other lawyer was Mana Duke, aka Fat Fat. On my son, so it's like shit. You know, hold on, hold on. Let me see where we at with this shit. Oh damn, y'all doing pretty good. But look, hey, look, everybody who ain't smashed the like button, go on ahead and smash the shit so we can get back into the content. Shout out everybody in the building. What well, we got like 40 people in the building. God damn it. Um, everybody who ain't smashed the like button. Go on here and smash it so we can get back to this content now. Shout out to everybody who smashed it already, but at this point, we're just waiting on the other people who ain't smashed it yet. My son, you know, but you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm probably going to talk my shit a little bit more about Fat Fat, then we're going to talk about Polo, Polo G Mama shooting at her kids, man. Polo G Mama out here shooting at her kids, the, the kids that she brought. Look, she taking that saying too serious. I brought you in this world, I'll take you out this world. She taking that shit too serious, but no. Nah, we finna, we finna talk about, yeah, damn that everybody, damn that everybody done smash that shit. I, I bet. Hey, look, everybody who ain't, we finna get back into the content, but everybody who ain't smashed it yet, go on ahead and smash it so we can, you know what I'm saying, run so we can run this shit up. But, uh, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. You know, I ain't got too much to say about Fat Fat. Like, you know, at the end of the day, she know she did some bop ass shit. It is what it is, you know. We ain't finna just keep beating a dead horse, you know. But at the end of the day, Mona Duke, like, do y'all think Mona Duke really love Fat Fat, or do y'all think that man seeing dollar signs? Do y'all think that man seeing hard eyes, or you think he's seeing dollar signs? I ain't gonna lie, fool. I feel like phone them man seeing dollar signs, bro. I feel like Mona Duke ass seeing dollar signs. He probably don't even love her ass for real. But if he, I might be mistaken. He probably do love her ass, but I ain't gonna lie like shit. You can't ignore the fact that you got a whole bag. Like, you got a whole D-Thang bag. You got a whole, you got access to D-Thang bag and Lil Dirk bag. And you think Mona Duke ain't hip to that shit? You think, like, no, he loves me for me. It's like, no, your ass got that, you got that D-Thang money. Your ass got that smirk money. Your ass got that OTF money. Now, mind you, 100K track gave Moo a bag. He gave, God damn it, um, he gave Moo a bag. He gave Prince Dre a bag. He gave Boss Top a bag. And I think he gave Mana Duke a bag. But I ain't gonna lie, that bag that 100K track gave to Mana Duke, that shit gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, he ain't got no more of that money no more. And then when Mother Duke was out here, he doing like little interviews here and there, but he getting like a few thousand here, a few thousand there. That interview money gone. You know why Mother Duke was able to afford a lawyer for Moo Up? And you know why Mother Duke, if, as soon as he get a bond, he gonna be right out of jail? Cause he got D thing money now. Like bro, Fat Fat, I mean, Mother Duke is with Fat Fat for, D, for the money. Mother Duke is with Fat Fat for the money. That's my opinion. Everybody entitled to their opinion, but I feel like Mother Duke is with Fat Fat for the money. His ass just had a kid with Fat Fat, so it's like, shit. You know, this the oldest play in the book. Like, this play been getting ran. Like, this the play that shorty, uh, 40-year-old, this 40-year-old female got, uh, 40-year-old female called Jalen Brown or some shit like that. Like she he with some like what's that one girl now? I don't even know her name, but uh her ass, she like 40. She still bad at 40. She like 40. And then she just had a baby by like a 21 year old and shit like that. And everybody saying she's Vanessa system. Same shit that Mother Duke did. Like when you be seeing like these uh these uh females getting with these NBA players and having babies by them. What 50 Cent say? Have a baby by me, baby. Be a millionaire on my son. Mother Duke had a baby by <laughs> And he's trying to be a millionaire. He's trying to get, he's trying to check a bag like shit. Like I need that forever money. Mother Duke on some shit like, look man, I need that forever money. So hell yeah, I'm gonna tip my hat off the Mother Duke and I'm gonna talk my shit about Fat Fat. Cause I ain't gonna lie. like. God damn, Fat Fat. 
you could have did at least what Ari did. I respect Ari, man. Look, Ari said, she said, I'm gonna give me a new nigga with a whole lot of more money. Look, she went from G Herbo to Money Bag Yo. I ain't gonna lie. Like Money Bag Yo, he ain't going through the shit that G Herbo going through. Like G Herbo, he having, he got money, he having that shit. But man, it'd be a lot of shit that be coming out about G Herbo that let you know that it's trouble in paradise. Like putting them, he's everything is not going this plan. Like it's cold red. Like, god damn it. His uh manager taking his money. God damn it. His hood say they don't fuck with him no more. They call him his ass a creative player. God damn it. Uh Ari probably getting the monthly child support check for uh I'm a herb son. It's like shit. You know, it's a lot of what fuck talking about. Am I gonna catch the solar eclipse? When is when is the solar eclipse happening? This happening today. When is it happening? Hold on, they talking about a solar eclipse. Motherfucker said, "Hey neighbor, are you catching the solar eclipse? When is it happening? Are you outside?" I'm about to go, I'm about to go drink with my neighbor, man. I'm about to go turn over my neighbor after I got off live with y'all. But, um, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you know, like, you know, I mean, Fat Fat know she a OTL bop, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't said nothing that she ain't on already know. Like, she already know this shit. Like, it is what it is, you know? Embrace embrace that shit like like embrace the fact that you are otl bop and embrace your bop activities embrace all that goop, you know what i'm saying like it is what it is you know like shit ain't nothing to be mad about now look now watch now when mana duke now look one day we gonna see her ass on uh her ass gonna hop on social media he don't love me. He out. Look, Mother Duke. Look, once he find out that Mother Duke still out here slaying shit, still out like here never sent to the cross, she gonna get mad and she gonna hop on social media. Oh my God, Mother Duke don't love me. He out here fucking these girls, these little ass girls. He bugs as hell. His ass used me for my money. I thought he loved me. I was. I left these things for you. The whole time, a lot. I've seen some comments. Some people were like, "Man, she probably was uh messing with Mother Duke while D thing was still here." I don't even put a pass her. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I don't even put that shit past her. Like, she is. She probably was. She probably was messing with Mother Duke while D thing was still here. Like, oh, D thing. He's just a cool guy. He gets to the money. He's not a killer though. She wanted the killer. Mother Duke, his ass allegedly, you know what I'm saying? They trying to say that Mother Duke got all type of bodies. If you let these documentaries tell it, Mother Duke, he got all type of bodies. She wanted to kill her. Like she probably would have let Vaughn, she probably would have fucked with Vaughn. I'm not sure, bro. I wonder how that would have played out. I still even wonder to have dirt feel about this shit, bro. I'm not sure. I know, man, dirt probably. It's about over now. It's over. Damn, I ain't see shit. They talk about the solar eclipse. I ain't even see nothing. The fuck is y'all talking about? Who the? Who the hell is this? Who the hell is this? What the hell? Hold on, man. Man, people are crazy. Well, uh, they talking about the solar eclipse. But look, man. Damn, that shit just threw me. I just, I just lost my train of thought.
Yeah, she wanted to kill us. She, yeah, D thing cool. He get the money. You know what I'm saying? He's he, he signed. You know what I'm saying? He's um, D thing cool. He laid back. He get the money, but I want to kill her. You see what I'm saying? So it's like I wouldn't even be surprised if she was messing with uh, Mona Duke while D thing was still here. I wonder how Lil Dirk feel about this shit. I wonder how Dirk feel about this shit. Man, I called that girl, man. What the hell are they talking about? Man, I ain't got no time for all that goof ass shit. We ain't gonna be doing all that. Hey, look, 50 people in the building. We at least need 45 likes, man. On my son. Shout out, you know, uh, everybody go ahead and smash the like button so we can get back to this shit. You know, shout out to everybody, uh, Shout out to everybody who smashed the like button. At this point, we just waiting on the people who ain't smashed it yet. My son, everybody go ahead and smash so we can finish talking our shit about this, about this, uh, this what's name shit. I wonder how Lil Dirk feel about this shit, man. I wonder how Dirk feel about this shit, man. How, how, like, how Smirk feel about this shit? Everybody who ain't smashed the like, man, go ahead and smash it so we can get back to this shit, man. My son. Go on here, smash the light so we can get back to this shit, man. Let's talk our shit. Let's see how y'all come. At this point, we just waiting on y'all, man. Anybody who ain't smashed the light button, go on here, smash it so we can get back to this content, man. Let's get back to this content, man. We waiting on y'all, bro. We ain't finna keep, you know what I'm saying? They like, damn, go ahead. Like, man, look, bro. We are waiting on y'all. Good. Y'all come. Hey, look. Go on here, smash that shit, bro, so we can get back into the content, bro. I'm starting to notice that, you know, there's a lot of goofy shit going on. Look, if y'all want me to make the uh, chat where everybody could talk in the chat, if y'all want to make me put the chat back to normal where everybody, if y'all want me to take the chat off members only mode and make it where everybody can talk in the chat again, we need some support to dollar sign reach to 11. Get some support to dollar sign reach to 11 and I'll take the chat off and I'll make it where everybody could uh, talk in the chat. I'll take the members only shit off. But if we don't get no support to dollar sign reach to 11, that shit gonna stay members only for my son, you know, so if y'all want me to take that shit off members only, let's get some support to dollar sign reach to 11 and I'll take it off. But as long as it ain't no support to dollar sign reach to 11, it's going to be members only. So it's like at this point, we just waiting on y'all to hit the like button. And at this point, we just waiting on y'all to show some support to dollar sign reach to 11. You know. Shout out to everybody who already smashed the shit. But now, all right, we'll get back into the shit. Y'all keep smashing that shit. Y'all keep standing on business. But look. I wonder how Lil Dirk feel about the shit. I wonder how Smirk feel about the shit, bro. Like if I was Smirk, if I was Smirk, I'd be on man. Look, bro, my son, bro. Like Smirk, he is asking probably in a in a in a weird position. Like damn, like I'd be mad at my brother. I'd be mad at my brother. Like bro, you knew her ass was a bop. Like, why did you out here get this bop pregnant and now she embarrassing you? You dead and she making your ass look like a goofy. See, that's what fat fat don't understand. You making, you, I don't want to hear no, I don't want to hear none of that. I love, I don't want to hear no, no, I look, I still love these things. Now, I don't want to hear none of that shit. I mean, he dead or whatever. So it's like, all right, move on with your life. But who, we ain't say move on with your life with somebody in his circle, like your ass. Went into another. Oh my son, bro! Like you, post, you moved on with your life and one of his homies. That's like me. That's like Lord forbid I get took out this shit and my old lady 
start running around. Now she having kids by my homie and shit like that. It's like that shit. Like I'm dead. You embarrassing the hell out of me type shit. Like in so boom. I so say I'm so and for any females watching for any females watching. So look, say I'm dating this female, right? You know what I'm saying? We have a child together or whatever, and she died. And I start fucking her sister, and I had some kids with her sister. Wasn't that shit? Look, for the, I just want to put, I just want the females to look at it from their perspective. Because us as niggas, we looking at it from our perspective. But I, let me just put it to where the females can look at it from their perspective. Like, I, right, I'm fucking a female. I had kids with them. The female I'm fucking died. And then I start fucking her sister, and I had kids with the sister. Wouldn't y'all females look at me like, damn, nigga? You just gonna just start fucking the sister and have kids with the sister. It's like, damn, what you couldn't move on? Like, God, like, what you can't get no other bitches? Like, what you don't got no hoes or nothing? Like, why the hell you had to go link with her sister, though, and have kids with her sister? It's like, damn, you ain't got no hoes or something? Like, you know, the female don't fuck with you? Like, you ain't got no motion? You had to go, you had to get, <laughs> your old lady died, and you start fucking the sister and having kids with the sister type shit. Like, come on, bro. That's goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I wouldn't like all the women in the family will look at me crazy. Even the dudes in the family, they'll be like, man, your ass is goofy, bro. Like, yo ass, like, God damn, like, you know, you were you was you had some kids with one of my nieces. My niece died, and you had the kid with my other niece. Like, you, you know, everybody in the family, the dad, the son, the mamas. The got so yeah, so it's like I right, let so I just put the females in opposition real fast so they can see how this shit look. So they can see how this shit look. This shit look crazy. It's like, God damn. You know? But no, that that's that on that's that on fat fat. You know what I'm saying? Her ass a bop. Anybody who contested, you know, everybody entitled to their opinion. Some people probably gonna be like, no, she's not a bop. She's just living her life. And some people they gonna agree with me, like, yeah, her ass a bop. Like your ass is an OTF bop. You went from one OTF chain to another OTF chain. You went to one OTF dick to another OTF dick. It's like, God damn. That's why I took my hat off to Ari. Because when she broke up with her, her, she ain't like, oh, I'm finna go have a baby with Cairo. I'm finna go have a baby with Wet. I'm finna get with Faro. I'm finna get with Maneski. I'm finna go have a baby by doo We would have been looking at Ari like, God damn. That's what Fat Fat did. And now Lil Dirk is in a weird ass position like, damn. I wanna cut her ass off. I can I can bet you a million dollars. Dirk wanna cut her ass off. But the only reason he can't is because she got D thing kids. She got his nephews and his nieces, and it's like, damn. You know what I'm saying? You know, King Von, baby mama, she wanna be an OTF bop, but the right OTF member ain't hit her line. You know, Vine died and all Vine dirty ass homies tried to hit her up. And she, you know, that's why she got online acting like she's standing on business. Only reason that you was able to stand on business because his dirty ass homies hit you up. If any of Vine boss ass homies look like Lil Dirk hit up, she would have went and she would have been an OTL bop too. She would have been just like Fat Fat, you know. But a part of it would have been, it still would have been bogus. How can I say this? How can I say this? You know, it still would have, it's so boom. It still would have been some weird shit. It still would have been some bop activity, but it's like at the same time, it would have been respected more than Fat Fat situation. The reason, so boom, Fat Fat was D thing, baby mama, D thing, wife. God damn it, Fat Fat, uh, D Thang died. Fat Fat went and had a baby by Mother Duke. Now, Kima, whatever her name, I think her name Kima, that was King Von, baby mama, and King Von died. Now, if Kima would have linked with Lil Dirk after Von died, it would have been more respected than, at least by me, it would have been more respected by me than the uh, fat fat situation because D thing was up here. You had a baby by D thing and he was up here. D thing died and you go all the way down to Mother Duke and have a baby by him. 
Vine was up. So boom, Kima, god damn it, she had a baby by Vine. Vine died, and you went all the way up here and had a baby by dirt. Now I ain't gonna lie, I respect power, I respect power moves. You know what I'm saying? It's still bogus in a way because it's like, damn, Vine died and you fucking his homies. The only reason why your situation would be a little bit more respected by me than Fat Fat's situation is because at least you went up. Fat Fat went down. You see what I'm saying? D thing was all the way up here. You had baby by D thing, he all the way up here. D thing died. You come all the way down here and have a baby by Duke. You see what I'm saying? Kima, you had a baby by Vine, he all the way up here. Vine died, you go all the way up here and have another baby by dirt. It's still bogus, but at least you went up. Fat fat went down. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you know, it's 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 slightly different, you know what I'm saying? But um all right, man, we finna move on to the Polo G mom situation. Look, we got 75 people in the building. Everybody who ain't hit the like button, smash the like button so we can go, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wait till everybody, I'm gonna wait till the people who ain't hit the like button to smash the shit, and then we gonna get back into the content. I'm gonna just chill back and kick it. I ain't no shit. I'm gonna just kick it right here. I'm gonna go, uh, you know, scroll and shit like that. I ain't even no shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till our, everybody who ain't hit the like button to smash the like button. Up on 75 people, we at least need 65 likes. We at least need 65 likes. So we just gonna wait right here till everybody who ain't smashed the like button, go ahead and smash it. Then we're gonna get back to the content. We're gonna talk about this Polo G mama shit. We're gonna talk about this Polo G mama shit, man. That ass out here trying to kill her kids and shit. I'm folding them her ass out here trying to kill her kids and shit, man. We don't talk about this shit. Shout out everybody who smashed it already. At this point, we're just waiting on the people who ain't smashed it yet. Coming, man. I call Fat Fat talk to the kid. I don't think it's something I know he did. All right, man. We finna get back into the content. God damn it! Shout out everybody who smashed the like button. Uh, but we finna we finna get back to the content. So look, Polo G, Mama, Polo G. Polo G brother and Polo G uh sister. So look, hold on, y'all. Give me a second. Give me two seconds. Child dream down the building. All right, look, like I said, man, if y'all want me, shout out dream down in the building. If y'all want me to take the chat off members only mode so everybody can come in and chat. Let's get some support to reach 211. If we get some support to reach 211, I will take the chat off members only mode and everybody will be able to comment in the chat again. But once I take the chat off members only mode, if this, if God damn it, we need to get some support every time we go live. If we go more than one or two consecutive live without no support to reach 211, I'm putting it back on members only mode. So but if y'all want me to keep the chat off members only mode, send some support to reach to eleven, and I'll make the sure the shit don't never the shit never be on members only mode, and everybody will always be able to chop it up in the chat section. You know, till then, members only, rent is only. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want it to be everybody to talk in the comment section, members only mode off. Get some support to reach to eleven. And we going to always have a chat where everybody can talk. So it's like, shit, I'm really putting the ball in y'all court. See what I'm saying? So, like, we can goddamn it, you know. But, uh, yeah, no, I ain't going from my shit. As long as, as long as there's not no support at Reach 211, the chat is always going to be on members only mode. Once we start getting support to Reach 211, members only mode will be off and everybody will be able to participate in the chat section. 
So yeah, the ball is in y'all court. But uh, as far as Polo G Mama, yeah, and everybody else in the building, we got 71 people in the building. We at least leave 65 likes, man. Everybody who ain't here, go ahead, who ain't smash it, go ahead, smash the like button. Shout out to Dream Dog in the building. But look, as far as Polo G Mama, I don't know what's wrong with her ass. Look, man, her ass out here trying to kill her kids. So, all right, I'm going to just lay the foundation of what happened. So, before Trench Baby got charged with the murder of Lil Ro, a 757 Lil Ro, I guess his ass showed up at his mom's house to, you know what I'm saying, say what's up to his mom. I don't know what's going on. I guess there was some bullshit going on between him and his mom and Trench Baby came in the house and her ass up gun on Trench Baby and got the blowing on my son. She, look, she got the blowing at Trench Baby damn near like I don't know what's going on. She started shooting at Trench Baby. Alright, Polo, now we're going to move on to Polo G, Polo G sister. So look, I guess it was Easter Sunday dinner. Polo G sister at Easter Sunday dinner with her mama. Some shit happened. It's being said that Polo G mama up gun on Polo G sister and let that shit off. Open fire shooting at her 16 times. Like, I ain't gonna lie, fool. I ain't even, I ain't like, I can't even, like, if you, even if you shoot at your child one time, it's like, I'm looking at you like you crazy. But to shoot at your child 16 times, we gotta talk about this shit. So it's like, and it's being said that after this last incident of Polo G Mama shooting at uh, his sister, it's being said that Polo G cut his mama off. You know what I'm saying? It's the last straw, or whatever. You know, we gonna wait. We gonna wait and see how true that is. But that's what's being said. It's being said that Polo G cut his mama off of that shit. But look, this is what I want to say about Polo G Mama. It's like, look, man. You taking that term, I brought you in this world, I can take you out. You taking that shit too far. Because at the end of the day, why is Polo G mama out here acting like King Von? Now, matter of fact, King Von ain't never shot at his kids. I'll take that back. Why is Polo G mama out here acting like them damn people I be seeing on these goddamn YouTube? Y'all know y'all get on YouTube and you hear about the mama killing her kids, killing the grandkids, all type of, like she killing her family and shit. Like, what the hell? Like, come on, man. Her ass need to be under the jail. If you touch kids, you need to be under the jail. If you shoot at your kids, you need to be under the jail. Anything that got to do with kids, you need to be under the jail. Wiggles need to be under the jail. Polo G Mama need to be under the jail. Why is y'all out here doing shit to kids? Like, Polo G Mama trying to kill her kids. Wiggles around here touching kids. Like, what the hell is going on? Leave the kids alone. Quit messing with the goddamn kids. Like Polo G mama bogus. Like I really hope Polo G cut his mama off for real. I hope it ain't no bat shit. I hope he's not friendly his move. Like, oh I'm gonna cut, I'm cutting you up. And you know, next day he back sending her hundred thousand dollars and shit. Like, no. Cut her off, cut her water off, no more money. God damn it. If it's stop paying them bills, all that shit, she need to learn her damn lesson. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, you, it's a whole saying that's, that it's a whole slogan that like I, that you uh, we've been hearing all our life that from our parents. I brought you in this world. I'll take you out this world. But that's not like. I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't know if she's taking that shit to the head, but the whole time it's some, you know, she need to. She need to goddamn it. She needs some help. Like Polo G Mama need to be in a goddamn it psych ward, or some shit. Like she needs some serious help. Uh, Polo G Mama need to be in them damn jackets. You know the jacket that they wrap around. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn it. You know what I'm saying? Cause she has like, what happened to whooping your kids ass with a belt? What happened to you know what I'm saying? Whooping your kids with a switch? What happened to goddamn it? Uh. My mama used to pick shit up and just throw shit out of motherfuckers. You see what I'm saying? It's like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, goddamn, like, when do we start using guns for our children? Like, that's, 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 uh, that's like, we ain't even with that shit. Like, that's goofy shit. So it's like, you know. And then I'm hearing after, uh, after Polo G, mama shot at the sister 16 times. I'm hearing that the sister and the mama fought after that. You know, shout out to the sister 
But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because like anybody who gets shot 16 times, they ain't gonna be around for shit after that. You know what I'm saying? They getting up out of there. Apparently, I guess the sister came back and still fought her mama. You know what I'm saying? After her mama blew at her 16 times, so it's like I don't know what's wrong with Polo G mama, but you know that's that's goofy shit. Like ain't nobody honoring that shit. Ain't no excuse for that shit. This your second child that you done shot a gun at. You shot a gun at Trench baby, and now you shot a gun at Leilani. I think that's probably Polo G sister name, Leilani Capilot. It's like look, bro. If you ain't like, what the hell you had these kids for to just, you know what I'm saying? And that, and that is like, you had kids to shoot at them? Like, come on, bro. You know? And Polo G, I hope he stand on what he say. Like, the shit that four of them say, he like, look, you know, it's being said that he said he gonna cut his mom off and shit like that. I hope he does, because it's like, bro, that's goofy shit. That's goofy shit. Ain't nobody honoring that shit. Like, you know, cut her ass off, cut her water off. Don't pay no more of her bills. Like, she need to understand, like, you can't be shooting at your goddamn kids. That's my brother you just shot at, and that's my, I mean, you my mama, but it's not like my brother shooting at my mama or my sister shooting at my mama. My mama shooting at my brother and my mama shooting at my sister. So it's like, you know, you are the aggressor. You are the shooter. Like, you the one who need the... You know what I'm saying? You need to go sit your ass in the corner. Your ass, one of them need to put your ass on timeout. I don't know what need to happen, but at the end of the day, we are not with that shit, bro. You bokes as hell. You know what I'm saying? Something need to happen. We ain't heard shit about duck mama shooting that brick or duck. We ain't hear no stories about mama duck shooting that brick or mama duck shooting that duck. Why the hell is we hearing stories about you shooting that, goddamn it! You know what I'm saying? Polo better be cool, like shit. If she will shoot that trench baby in Leilani, she will shoot at your ass, like shit. Your ass got the money, shit. I don't mean shit. There's something wrong with her ass. It's something wrong with her ass. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like I feel like uh, like I think I've seen a, a few videos of Polo G Mama. She trying to be a kid. She trying to be like these young ass little girls and shit like that. And it's like, look, bro. Them days is over. Like, yo ass trying to be people friend. You still trying to act like you 16 and shit like that. Like, that shit over. And you making up north look bad on my son. You making my side of town look bad, bro. We already got stigma on that shit. People be trying to act crazy. Like, yeah, shout out out west. Shout out over east. Shout out out south. But no, nah, you can go up north. It's sweet up there. Like, y'all finna get these people killed. Y'all telling people they can go up north this week. Y'all last finna get these people. That blood finna be on your hands. Like, ain't shit sweet about up north. Like, I right, it might actually do be the most chill side out of the whole city. But it's like, God damn it, that don't mean you could be loafing. You know what I'm saying? Your ass will get your ass clapped going up north, loafing and shit like that. You got to be on point just like you got to be on point in every other side of the city. You might have to be a little bit more on point on these other side versus up north. Cause I'm not stupid, bro. I know, God damn it, my city, bro. I like, God damn it, like, yeah, it is a little bit more intense on these other sides, but don't try to act like it ain't intense at all. Of them. Like, no, nah, bro, like some shit that happened to your ass. Don't you know that's where Pappy died? Don't you know that's where this person died? Don't you know that's where that person died? All these damn murders and y'all think it's like, yeah. I know all the murders happen, all the murders happen up there, but no, four of them said it's sweet up there. Like, all right, four of them gonna get your ass killed. I'm just, look, go look at the list of the people who done died up north. And then listen to what your homie saying. He said, like, no, you could be loafing up north, but you got this long ass list of people who died up north. So who you gonna listen to? This list or your homie? Because the list is facts. This shit documented. These all these people are dead. All these people died up north. So it's like. So who you gonna listen to? You gonna listen to your homie or you gonna listen to what this list is saying? This list is basically telling you like that, no, you can't loaf up north. You can't be loafing up north. Like you would die up north. On my son, you would die up north. Like, you know. Shout out to the north side of Chicago. Everybody stand up north pole. We in the building. I'm standing on all 10. Anybody play with me, I'm standing on their neck. You know what I'm saying? Look. I seen a few of them homies, they ass they ain't rocking with his ass. They ass, look, they ass took a step back from his ass. I like, look, man, 
Don't nobody want to be associated with that shit. Look, I went on uh I went on uh Rax Live last night. Rax says, like, man, I told you his ass was a child molester. I'm like, man, I ain't even know. I ain't even know his ass was uh goddamn it uh child predator. I didn't know. I wouldn't have been rocking with folks. I might be sharing his shit. I went down to my all that weak ass music. I ain't gonna lie, some of his shit was kind of cold. This man got a song with OTF Hypno Carlito and didn't even put him in the title. That's how you know it's something wrong with your ass. You think that you bigger than what your ass really is. Like you got OTF Car Hypno Carlito featured on the song, and you're not gonna put his name in the title. Don't you know this is a numbers game? Don't you know having his name in the title will bring more traction to this, this song? Like, don't nobody give a damn about you for real. Like, shit, having a OTF artist featured on the song is going to get more views to your shit. That's how you know it's something to do, like on my son. But, uh, yeah, y'all know I, I, I indulge in this shit. I get, I'm getting paid for this shit, man. All you, all you goofy ass goofies out there who not, don't got your paid monetized, it's cause your ass a goofy, man. You know, I had did some goofy shit a few months ago, got my shit demonetized, you know what I'm saying? And I had to pay for that shit. But now my shit, all my shit back monetized, I'm back rolling. I get paid to talk my shit. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But uh Yeah, man. The building, we at least need 65 likes, bro. We at least need 65 likes. My son, we at least need 65 likes, man. If y'all ain't smashed the like button yet, go on here and smash it. Run this shit up. Y'all know we just had to come to talk our shit real fast. They talking about that shit happened already. The Soul League Clips. Yeah, I am okay. How the hell that happened already? Appreciate you tapping on me. Oh, shit. Oh shit, man. What y'all on, man? I'm about to start dropping the link too, man. Hey, look. If y'all want me to make the chat members, if y'all want me to take the members only, Quan Porter. Y'all already know shout my boy Quan Porter in the building. Y'all already know my boy in the building. So look, if y'all want me to take the uh members chat, if y'all want me to take the members only shit off the chat so everybody can talk. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some uh let's get some support to dollar sign reach to eleven. And then not only will I take the members only chat off, I'll start dropping the link for y'all to come up here and we can talk our shit together too, bro. Like I'll turn it into a, one of them environments where it's like I right, everybody can be involved. Not not only can y'all, you know what I'm saying, chop it up with us in the chat, y'all also can Come up here and we can talk our shit, you know what I'm saying? Give our opinion. Everybody get their opinion on this shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I ain't gonna lie. The type of environment that I bring to the table, I know it's gonna be a lot of people that wanna come up here. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't be having an environment where it's like, oh, you feel pressured. Like I hate people out like I ain't gonna lie. There's a lot of goofies out here. Now I ain't gonna lie, wiggles. Wiggles ass be trying to scare people. He be getting mad at people because they don't want to talk to him. They don't want to be his friend. He'll talk shit about the people like, man, why don't y'all want to talk to me, bro? Why don't y'all want to talk to me? I already know. It ain't even going to be like, shout out to uh, C-Hood, you know what I'm saying? For them, the environment over there is a cool environment. People not pressured to get on C-Hood shit because they like, you know, C-Hood laid back. He be on some player shit. Dude ass is a straight child, predator, a rape child, a goddamn it, like, you know what I'm saying? Condolences to his mama, my son, that shit messed up. But uh, 
you can tell there's something wrong with his ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, just look in his background. You'll see. Like, God damn it. The apple don't fall too far from the tree. His dad was touching kids. This nigga grew up to do the same thing. Now he touching kids. And so you got a person like that trying to, like, man, y'all better get up here and talk to me. Why don't y'all want to talk to me? Like, people don't even want to get on this shit. Because it's like, man, this something right. Your ass need professional help. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, he be having trouble <laughs> with getting people up there. They don't even want to talk to his ass. And when the females get on there, his ass be having his head down. His ass be scared to say, I'm like, man, my son. Like, his ass be acting like his ass ain't, like, never been around. Like, he <laughs> be acting like the girl got cooties or some shit. Bro. Like, it's something wrong with his ass. But, uh. Y'all already know, man. Once I start opening the panel, I know a lot of y'all gonna get up here with me. We're gonna talk our shit. It's gonna be one of them real, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like a chill ass environment. Everybody giving their opinion. You know, we not accepting no goofies up here though. I ain't even gonna lie to you, but it's like shit. If your ass, you know, stand up solid and shit like that, hell yeah, we can get on the panel and we talk our shit and got them and kick the what's the name? Like in the in a topic like this, we probably ain't got the most people that we would mostly have, because I ain't even gonna lie, if it was like some crazy shit, we had like 250 people in the building. But due to the fact that it's, you know, Mona Duke, baby mama, and Polo G, like Mona Duke, uh, yeah, D thing, baby mama, and Polo G mama, like, you know, we talking about a situation with two females, so it ain't gonna be, you know, as popping as if we were talking about Lil Dirk and Vaughn and Duck and shit like that. Like, if it was one of them, we had 250 people, damn near 300 people in the building, you know, but uh, even on topics like this, we're going to pull in at least 90, 80, you know what I'm saying, 80 some people. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, it is what it is, you know. You know, I'm, you know, I'm going to keep talking my shit, keep getting paid for it and stay on schedule. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, definitely stay on schedule. Keep doing the shit that I got to do and shit like that. Hey, hey, Quan, I ain't going to lie, man. See, we all had to do our research. Ain't nobody know. Nobody knew that dude that had that shit on his name. I would have never shared none of his shit. Gave him none, no shout outs. Show him no love. I would have never did none of that shit. He said, like, man, man, if you knew I was a, and then his comebacks be so guilty. He'd be like, man, if you if you knew I was a pedophile, why you co-sign me? It's like, all right, bro, all right. You know, that type of comeback, that's like a, a damn near an admission of guilt. The way you be coming back, you be thinking you be talking your shit, but this type of shit you be saying be low-key admissions of guilt. You know, if you knew I was a pedophile, well, why you in co-sign me? I ain't know you was a pedophile. My son, I'm glad you saying that shit the way that you saying it, because it's like you admitted to it, you know what I'm saying? And But on the back end, you try to be like, no, like, no, I'm not saying that. It's like, no, nah, bro, it's like shit. Like, we know, I ain't gonna lie, I'm one of the people who definitely know how to read between the lines. Like, that definitely wasn't a missing the guilt, my boy. If I was a pedophile, then why you co sign me? We ain't know you was a pedophile. Like, we wouldn't have co signed your ass. But yeah, bro, like, shit, it is what it is. But look, everybody in the building, make sure. Yeah, it's, yeah, he, <laughs> look at my son. But look, everybody in the building, y'all know I love y'all, man. Everybody in the building, you know what I'm saying? Before y'all get up out of here, make sure y'all smash the like button and, you know, before y'all get up out of here, make sure y'all go in the description and go all the way to the top of the description and click that link all the way at the top of the description csp go to war with bloggers episode three click that link run that shit up run that shit through the roof but uh y'all already know what's going on shout out everybody keep putting up i love y'all make sure y'all drop location so we can shout to where everybody from smash the like say what number y'all is god damn it make sure y'all follow me on instagram at the official csp1 uh, make sure y'all go get y'all OTM merch, hat, shirt, joggers, goddamn it, book bag. Go get all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, house shoes, all that shit. But uh, yeah, definitely, fool. If y'all want me to take members only off the chat so everybody can chop it up with each other in the chat, let's get some support to dollar sign reach to 11. Not only will I take the chat off members only, I will start dropping the link so everybody can come up here and we can talk our shit to each other. 
So every day we go live, if we get some support, however much support it is, every day we go live. As long as we get some support to dollar sign reach to 11, I will keep the chat off of members only so everybody could chop it up. But if we go consecutive days, if we if we go live and we don't get no support to dollar sign reach to 11, I'm putting the chat back on members only and it'll be only the members in here. So basically, this is me putting the ball in y'all court. If y'all want everybody to just be able to chop it up with each other in the chat and damn near me dropping the link so people can get up here and we can talk our shit. Let's get some support to dollar sign reach to 11. As long, as long as there ain't no support at dollar sign reach to 11, the chat will always be on members only where members and wrench, people, wrench holders are the only people that's able to talk and there won't be no link dropping. If I do drop the link, it's going to be to members and it's going to be only to members and wrench holders. But uh, if we get support to dollar sign reach to 11, basically I'm going to open the door to everybody. I'm gonna open the door to everybody. Everybody could talk on the everybody could talk in the chat and anybody can come up here and you know what I'm saying come on the live stream with us and kick with us right here. So basically, you know, if y'all want the door to come open, y'all just gotta show some support to dollar sign reach to eleven. If y'all don't want the door to come open, if y'all just want to stay members only and nobody to pop them, shit, just keep my support and reach to 11 and their thing going to stay as is. And I'm just going to be on here talking my shit, which I had no problem doing. As y'all can see, like, shit, I'll be up here in my own world just talking my shit. I don't got no problem with that shit. But, like, at the same time, I don't have no problem either with having everybody in the chat and having everybody up here on the panel with me. So, you know, the ball is in y'all court, man. Long story short, the ball is in y'all court. But look, I love y'all. Shout out everybody. Keep putting up. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Say what number y'all live. Drop those so we can shout to where everybody from. Before y'all get up out of here, make sure y'all smash the like. And before y'all get up out of here, make sure y'all go to the top of the description and click that link. CSP goes to World with Blog. It's episode three. Click that link. Run that shit up, man. Y'all already know what's going on. Shout out Dream Dollar. Shout out my boy Quan Porter, man.